Hello, I'm Solus Pavelkis, and here with me is Peter Drozdovich and uh, from Deso Systems, and we will talk about model-based project reviews in context of OSLC, Jira, and Katia Magic integration. So first of all, about this integration architecture. So this is not uh, out of the box integration, but it's enabled by OSLC support, recent support on the Teamwork Cloud site. And uh, for this integration, we need uh, OSLC Jira plugin provided by Sodius Willard for the Jira site, which enables OSLC connection from the Jira site. And uh, also we need uh, version 2022 Teamwork Cloud Collaboration Studio Refresh 2 or higher release. This is the latest uh, at the moment of recording. Uh, and uh, how this integration works, as you can see here, Jira has the plugin installed, uh, which you can install directly from the Jira and it will show how to do it. And then uh, through that plugin, uh, we can access the Teamwork Cloud information, specifically projects, uh, Katia Magic, SysML, UAF, UML projects published not only that they uh, uh, sit on the Teamwork Cloud, but also they are published through Cameo Collaborator in order to enable preview of the diagrams and uh, the same, not only to link from the Jira to the elements, but also and diagram, but also to see the diagrams in the Jira. So here, we, let's take a look at short overview, how that works. Here we see the Jira ticket and I go to link, I go to co Cameo, co collaboration link and here I can see repository I can browse uh, published project uh, and pick the diagrams which I want to see directly from Jira ticket and this view will be dynamic so I would see the latest version of the published uh, uh, diagram if there is like update in the published version uh, the Jira dynamically connects and OSLC outputs that interface. Like here we see the view of the diagram. This is non-editable, non-customizable uh, uh, view and uh, it is, uh, but it is dynamic. So it is uh, the latest version of published to Cameo Collaborator. Now in the context of model-based project reviews, uh, we have the uh, situation when in traditional system engineering, uh, reviews are largely pro, pro, provide, uh, pr performed in the document-based approach. So what's, what are the problems and the current situation? So based on the transforming system engineering reviews uh, uh, presentation from NDAA and last uh, MBAC symposium in uh, 2003, 23, uh, Allen, Texas uh, by Aerospace Corporation, Tony Noldren, Ryan Naguchi, uh, we see the uh, current uh, points of situation. So system engineering reviews for large development and acquisition programs have been conducted in much the same way for many decades, uh, with only minor incremental improvements along the way. Many aspects of the system engineering reviews could be improved in order to accomplish digital engineering transformation goals, target development effort is required. Uh, so uh, the goal is actually digital engineering enabled reviews. Uh, and uh, if we talk about specific reviews, there are multiple reviews performed. Uh, one of them is uh, system requirements reviews, uh, and we will concentrate on that specific review with this demonstration, but there are other uh, integrated baseline. Then it is also preliminary design, critical design reviews, which we will target in the upcoming presentations and integrations. So this in the specific review is multidisciplinary technical review to ensure that developer underst understands the system requirements and is ready to proceed with the initial system design based on, on this uh, source. Now, uh, again, talking about uh, presentation by uh, Aerospace Corporation, Transforming System Engineering Reviews, digital enabled reviews introduce multiple uh, benefits for the review, like continuous assessment, dynamic models and data, as we will see here with the Jira, right, integration. We get latest published version, right? Incremental action items, non-event reviews, uh, snapshot exports, uh, presentation content, uh, uh, shared artifacts, automated notifications, review linkage. Not everything is achieved uh, 
here for this integration and demonstration but this is some going project process and we will present a more capable uh, uh, internal and external capabilities for the model based reviews uh, in the upcoming presentations now with the context of this integration uh, we will perform a demonstration of uh, a tutorial how to integrate with jira and how to perform model based reviews in this context and uh, uh, just uh, shortly uh, describing this process uh, from the model based reviews so here we have katia magic rich client we have a mod magic collaboration studio like teamwork clouds and collaborator and then we have jira so from cameo site katia magic site we create system architecture model we prepare model artifacts including views for system requirements review so that would be everything what you see here in this single diagram is prepared for the system requirement review this is starting from user needs use cases uh, uh, functional analysis uh, at the use case level uh, not going to the system architecture but uh, understanding user needs uh, system context uh, environment uh, measurements of effectiveness all of that uh, up to the system requirements then uh, we publish model to teamwork cloud including this uh, whole uh, view with the links to the diagrams dedicated for the system requirements review then create we create jira system requirements review item dedicated item with the workflow for this review link to system architecture model system requirements review artifacts we could link to each of those artifacts because this is just a view which we can see from the jira start review process assign reviewer and then if it is approved we close review item if rejected uh, we fix uh, we pass this uh, notification from the jira automatically to the review owner and then uh, uh, a dedicated person fix re related system architecture artifacts we change the ticket status item status and prepare model artifacts for the review and publish model to teamwork cloud and then we get again assigned it ticket for the review item for review now peter will uh, go with the tutorial for this uh, uh, integrated process uh, emphasizing actual uh, integration what needs to be done here and uh, uh, if you will have more questions uh, please reach to us Hello, my name is Peter Drozdowitz. I'm here with Dassault Systems, and today we're going to be talking about utilizing a JIRA integration with Cameo Systems Modeler in order to optimize your systems engineering review processes. In this example, we'll be using the systems requirements review process, as you can see right here, with its user requirements, stakeholder concerns, use cases, all the way down to its WDS system requirements. And we're gonna be taking all of these elements and diagrams and linking them directly to your workflows that'll be located in JIRA. So, as you can see right here, I've already kind of set up a JIRA project, and that is what you can do on your own time but once you have a JIRA project established there's a couple of steps that you're going to need to do so the very first step is that before we even get into JIRA let's start with Cameo the first step is that within Cameo you'd want to make sure that you're logged into a teamwork cloud server and that your project is added into the teamwork cloud so that'll be used using this setting right here where you have a new server project or you can add your projects in here once that is updated and you know your project is in the teamwork cloud the next step you'll have to do is that once you have your diagrams established you have to go down to cameo collaborator and publish your diagrams and what you can do is you have to make sure that you select the scope that you're using and you want to make sure you select the template that you're using so um, also, there's one more important note is that if you go into your options, you want to make sure to check that you mark the document as an OSLC resource. This is going to be the OSLC connect that we'll be utilizing to connect your Cameo to your Jira. Anyways, once you end up publishing uh, your diagrams to Cameo Collaborator and you know that that's all taken care of, we can actually get started to the actual linkage between Jira and Cameo. So the first thing that you're wanna, going to want to do is that you're going to want to take a look at what specific, first off actually, you need to download the OSLC Connect. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to Manage Apps. I'm gonna log in really quick. 
And within the Manage Apps tab in your Jira, you will be able to upload an app. That is going to be the OSLC Connect app that you could see right here. Uh, so you would, you would install this OSLC Connect to your Jira server. And what that'll do is it'll actually open up a tab here that is called this OSLC Connect tab. And in here, you'll have to do your next step. Uh, once you have OSLC Connect installed, you're going to want to establish a friend link. So you're going to click on the Friends tab and you're going to register a friend. And you're going to take the root services URI from the um, Teamwork Cloud server that you're working in and you're going to want to establish the friend link. You're going to get a state that says OK, it's been established, and you'll know that you're good to go from here. After this is the next step of the integration where you're going to want to actually go to your project and within whatever project you create in Jira, let's say, for example, I have a couple of taskers that are linked to reviewing certain elements within your Cameo model. For example, I have right here this one task called Use Requirements. And this Requirements tab, if you click on it and you expand it, this Requirements tab is linked to the specific diagrams that are in Cameo. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just one moment. So you're going to actually go back here and you're going to want to make sure to link your project first. So you click on Project Settings in the board, scroll down to your Project Associations. And within Project Associations, you can actually select specific Teamwork Cloud models that you want to, that you want to connect to your Kanban board and your um, Jira workflow project. So anyways, let's go back here and show you how to actually connect the specific artifacts. So here I've opened up a specific task called user requirements. And for example, for a requirements engineer in Jira, uh, they would be able to take a look at this specific tasker and go and review the specific SysML diagrams that are attached to it within your Cameo model. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to log in really quick just to get this fixed really quick. One moment, sign in, allow. But the next step you'd want to do is once you have your requirements <coughs> and you want to elaborate these elements, you're going to click on this more tab here within the specific task, click on link, it's going to open up a tab and you're going to go down to collaboration link and you're going to be able to actually select specific elements within the model that you want to review. And what it does here is by opening up this tab, you'll be able to take a look at certain things that are occurring within the Teamwork Cloud model. Uh, so for example, we selected this uh, system review WDS system and um, you'll be able to select uh, model elements clicking on that. Uh, once you have an element clicked, you'll just be able to select it and then link, link your uh, diagram as so. And now that you have your certain diagrams linked, you'll be able to actually access and review these links um, now that you have um, your elements connected not only within Cameo, uh, but to your Jira as well. So you'll be able to not only review within Cameo, uh, but if you don't have access to Cameo, you'll now be able to access it through using uh, Jira. Anyways, if you have any questions, please let me know. Once again, I'm Peter, and thank you for your time. In the upcoming uh, presentations, we will go with other uh, tool integrations in the context of model-based reviews, and also we will uh, deliver integrated uh, solution for the system architecture and integrated design model reviews, uh, with the critical design reviews especially, right? Uh, when we have already not system architecture in the context of review, but actual design models uh, before actual design starts. So thank you for your attention and uh, looking forward for the next uh, sessions.